Are you joking? Wow. Are you are you actually joking right now? It's broken. It is completely locked up. I am pulling the trigger as much as possible. Slide. Garbage. That is two of them that have broken on me. That one didn't even work out of the box. This is gonna be a really, really tough video for me. I don't know if you realize it, but the Nerf Rival Rough Cut features pretty heavily in my opening because it's one of my favorite blasters. It's got, in my opinion, the perfect grip, the perfect pump, the perfect size, the perfect capacity, and the perfect functionality. Sure, you can't really mod it all that much, but when it comes to being a small shotgun blaster that you can easily whip out and then just start rattling off shots with it, nothing really competes, in my opinion with the rough cut. It's a shame that the Smart AR system and stuff, this was one of the first blasters that ever did it. They're a little sticky, they don't always work. If you leave darts in it, it will kill it. And I wish it was a little bit more moddable because it's full of like plastic gears and the junk like that, but it looks cool, functions well, and I absolutely love it. And I'm kind of dreading even taking a look at the Elite 2.0 Warden DB8. Tactical rail, blast two darts at once, pump action slam fire. Doesn't say if it has a staggered trigger or not. That's a little concerning. And it comes with 16 darts of the standard elite variety. So it's basically the same exact thing as a rough cut, but in the elite 2.0 line. I gotta say, I'm not really digging the aesthetic all that much right now. It's very similar to the rough cut, but it's definitely different. We'll find out in just a moment. And it says it blasts up to 85 feet. I'm hoping there's some minor internal changes. And I'm also praying this thing has screws in it. But from everything I've seen online about every Elite 2.0 blaster, they're all clipped and glued together with some of them having screws, but still clips and glue. It's... <sighs> I have to address this. There's really nothing I can do about it. But I don't know what's like your... Hasbro, are you like mad that people mod your blasters and this is your way of getting back at them i don't why go this far i don't we've been modding blasters for decades now finally it's become a problem i know you don't give a flip about us but it's really disappointing and it makes it hard to support you especially when you think about the fact that it's like just being a consumer my right to repair is being invalidated when you glue the darn thing together sold form coming right well, the grip's not bad, but it's definitely different. Let's... You can see how swept back and beautiful and comfortable the rough cut is. And you can see how this is a little bit more angular, which some people may may like. That's not that bad, because it's still got the little finger troil right there that's really easy to get on. It's a little bit bigger. It doesn't feel not even half as comfortable, in my opinion, as the rough cut. The priming grip is a little small, again, just like the rough cut, but it's a little bit more pronounced with the sharp edge right here and back here. But still, that's actually, that might be a little bit of an improvement. It's got a sling point, it's got a trigger, that's kind of important. Uh, rail, that's the same cheap rail that they're doing on all the Elite 2.0 stuff. It does actually have Elite 2.0 and the little dots on both sides, but absolutely no painting. But doesn't look that bad, to be perfectly honest. I... I really hate the front of this thing. I'm not a big fan of how the front of the rough cut looks. The front on the warden is like, it's bigger, it's girthier, and it's worse. Like you can see that, right? Like it's bigger and it looks like it's like, ah, uh, so uh, that's aggressive, but it's also chunky. Overall, it's a bigger blaster in entirety. And there's like five screws on this thing. I, there's no way that's gonna pan out. Can I see inside here? It's the same mechanism. I mean, there might be some changes, but just looking at it, for the sake of this review video, it's the same thing. Hey, I like that though. That was actually... That was actually really smooth compared to the rough cuts. Kind of inability, like it locks up on me all the time when I'm trying to slam fire it. 
Are you joking? Wow. Are you are you actually joking right now? It's broken. It's finally happened. I broke the damn blaster before I even had a chance to use it. I... How do I do the review if the thing just broke that easily? Zero out of 10. Ah. Uh, that is, that is inexcusable. If I can do it, not even trying, as I'm trying to praise the thing, a child is going to chew through these. I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to see if I can't open this thing up. I can hear something rattling around inside of it that clearly broke off. And luckily for me, my local Walmart has one in stock. I may have to go back. I was already there this morning to pick up some other stuff for the sake of this review. So at this point, if there's anything to convince you otherwise, please drop a like, ring the bell, leave me a comment, flaming Hasbro, for this unmitigated garbage. I didn't even get a chance to use it. I'm so angry right now. I'm, I'm just livid. Dude, this is a freaking joke. So I undid the like five screws in the blaster thinking I might as well try to fix it just to get it working for the review. This is what greets me. Can you see? There's four clips, one of, two of which go through the entire, how do I even begin to remove those? And this isn't even counting all the other clips and glue that's probably in this block. This is a joke. This is exactly why you don't do this, Hasbro. This is unacceptable. This is, I'm so mad right now. One eternity later. I'm gonna warn you that it's gonna be nearly impossible for me to be objective about the review of this blaster at this point. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna chronograph this thing and I'm going to gingerly take it outside and try to use it normally. Then I'm going to dry fire this a few times, just like I did with the last one. And if it breaks again, holy crap, I don't even know what I'll do at that point. Unboxing part two. No, you're not even worth common Rider noises. Seems to be working. Good on you for having enough darts to fill this thing up twice. However, it would be nice if these weren't elite darts because we know elite darts are crap. And I'm starting to wonder if they purposely don't load these things up with elite darts and have completely forsaken AccuStrike darts because they want Ultra to look good. That's a video I have planned for the future, so make sure you stay subscribed. That's a nerf conspiracy. The dirt is all bent up. I don't even, it was in a box. I don't even know how that happens. This is a shotgun, man. I, and this is one of my, one of my favorite blasters is the rough cut. And it could potentially be a better version of the rough cut. And here we are. <sighs> Can't even really test the slam fire. I'm a little worried too. First, I'm going to see if it can shoot one dart after the other using a slow trigger pull. It can, although it's uh, it's really stiff. You gotta really try. Let's see if we can chronograph it a little bit with the last six darts. 73.4, 72.4. One of the darts popped out. That's not good. That's a problem that existed with the original rough cut. 63.3, 73.4. Sixty-eight point five, and I accidentally pulled the trigger a little bit too much because it's not very intuitive. I am. Let's take it outside. I'm. I'm very upset. I don't even want to look at this thing right now. I'm so glad that Walmart let me exchange it. Trying to be a model reviewer, not let his biases get to him. Alrighty, starting off with the eight included orange elite darts. We're gonna do this one at a time. Honestly, elite darts would be better for this since they are inaccurate and there's a little bit of a headwind, so we should get a shotgun-like effect. 
And yeah, that was pretty good. But again, I'm trying to pull the trigger slowly and I'm not able to get it to fire one at a time. There we go. Wow, that one just sailed off into non-existence. I had to like pull the trigger twice for that one. Here's a double shot. Yeah, that's about what I would expect. Now I'm gonna switch it over to Adventure Force Waffles and we're gonna see if these perform any better. I'm assuming it will be a much tighter grouping, but it may be a more functional tighter grouping. All right, Adventure Force Waffles. It's actually pretty good in my opinion. Here's a double shot. Dude, that's like perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I have not actually tried to use Adventure Force Waffles out of a rough cut. That's a really good spread. That is a really, really good spread. All right, now we're gonna do slam fire, holding the trigger down and just gonna pump. Only half the darts are firing. Only half the darts are firing. Push these all the way down, hold down the trigger, What is this? I can't even, f what? Once again, fully loaded, trigger all the way down as tightly as I can. One dart. Well, that did fire two, but it fired one from the top. It, it, it doesn't work. Maybe with the normal elite darts. All right. The included elite darts. Trigger all the way down. Just one dart. Ooh. -hoo. This one just broke. This one just broke too. It's broken. It is completely locked up. I am pulling the trigger as much as possible. Slide. Garbage. That is two of them that have broken on me. That one didn't even work out of the box. The slam fire did not work. I can't believe this crap. How do you sell this? How do you put a box out that says number one blaster brand on it when two of them from two different sources did not work. You know, when I expect Elite 2.0, I expect changes. I expect improvements. I don't expect to break two of your blasters that I bought that I wasn't even trying to break. This is unacceptable. And even if I try to take this blaster apart to fix it, I physically can't without probably breaking it more. This is brand new. Two of them, one purchased online, one purchased in store. Both of them had problems. If you buy an Elite 2.0 Warden from Nerf, you're an idiot. I don't care if there's people in the comment section that are trying to say theirs worked fine and I did something wrong. It doesn't matter. Of a sample size of two, both of them were broken and there's no way to really fix them. I'll have a little bit more leeway for the flywheelers. Honestly, the Phoenix looks good. The turbine looks excellent. I'm willing to bet I'll have the same problems. They're gonna be Blasters that are glued and clipped together in every single fashion that I won't be able to open them up and fix them if I have problems, say a lock goes out or a wire comes loose or God help you if I want to buy my own product and modify it according to my own will. No, Hasbro is deliberately trying to prevent that from happening and it is backfired spectacularly for them. I don't wanna be angry. I wanna be happy. It's a shotgun. I should love it. All of my biases point towards this being good, even if it was just a reshell of the rough cut, but it is arguably worse. You have your work cut out for you, Hasbro.
you're losing market share and you're going to continue to lose it. I don't care if all of you out there, including Hasbro themselves, are desperately trying to tell me I am not your market. That's fine. But it only takes a couple hundred thousand YouTube views of people slamming your products for you to lose continuously more and more shelf space to your competitors. And I don't want you to fail. I want you to succeed. I want more competition. I want more innovation. I want better product. And that's not what I'm getting in 2020. If you want to pick up a warden for some insane reason, you can find it on store shelves at your Walmart, most likely, or you can find it on walmart.com. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am really interested to hear your comments down below. And I sure as hell hope that you will not only fill me in, but also let Hasbro know what you think so far about Elite 2.0. We have more reviews coming. I have more blasters in the line after review, but to break things up a little bit, tomorrow, let's take a look at the gold, the Royal Edition, Royale Edition of the X-Shop Meteors, because this looks a hell of a lot better. And honestly, this whole pack was only $10 more than that. That travesty. I, I don't know how to end this video. You gotta 